Uh, uh, Christopher, my son, come closer. I have something I need to tell you. Yes, father. I'm listening. It's about Gollum. H have I told you about Gollum, Christopher? Yes, of course, Father. The wretched creature who accompanied Frodo and Samwise to Mordor, formerly the hobbit called Schmeagol. Yes, yes, but I haven't told you the real story of Gollum, Christopher. The story in its entirety. It is very important that I tell you this now before it's too late. What story, Father? It's the story of how Gollum escaped the mines of Barad-dûr after his capture by Sauron. You see, after his capture by Sauron, he was forced to serve the Dark Lord for quite some time. Are you writing this down? Yes, Father. Good, good. So, while in captivity, Gollum had to perform for Sauron a complicated series of tasks, the first of which was herding a group of monstrous beasts called Boroks into a series of pins and then pulling a lever to close the gates behind them. Boroks? You never mentioned any beasts called the Borok. Because they're only found in Barad-dûr, please pay attention. Anyway, after that, Gollum was ordered to run through the mines and find the dead bodies of other miners in order to collect their dog tags. Why was he made to do that, Father? Please, no questions right now, Christopher. I must finish. Anyway, the most important thing Gollum was ordered to do in the mines was to take care of a little baby bird by carefully guarding its egg until it hatched. He... what now? A bird, Christopher. He raised a little pet bird, and this bird became the companion of Gollum throughout his time in the mines, and would obey whatever commands Gollum gave it. But father, why would Gollum keep a pet bird? Hush, my son. Hush and listen. Also, while he was in the mines, Gollum had to climb and scramble his way around the caverns of Barad-dûr. And fortunately, the Yorks had outlined all of the best ledges in Barad-dûr in clear white paint to make it easier for him to do this. They did what? And he also got involved in a great deal of political intrigue during his time in Barad-dûr through his interactions with one of Sauron's most trusted servants, the Candleman. Okay, but what does any of this have to do with anything? Now, Christopher, this is very important. You must ensure that this story about Gollum's time in the mines of Barad-dûr is told in the form of a video game. No no other medium will suffice to tell this story. I want to put the players in the shoes of Gollum, so to speak, to endure all of the agonizing madness and frustration that it is his duty to endure as a result of being afflicted by the ring. You must do this, Christopher. I don't think I understand. And you must ensure that in whatever year this game comes out, the graphics are outdated by at least two decades. This is very important, Christopher. Father, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking and about. And you must ensure that the game is priced appropriately, too. It must be sold for 60 US dollars, no less. I won't have my intellectual property be sold like a common indie game. What is a video game, Father? What are you talking now, about? Now, for 70 US dollars, the player can have access to a deluxe version of the game, which includes special emotes. You do know about emotes, don't you, Christopher? What? Gollum will have a special emote in the deluxe edition where he can sort of wave his hands around like this. That will cost them $70, Christopher. Father, I think you need to get some rest. Wait, wait, Christopher, I've hardly started. I haven't even told you about the stealth mechanics of the game yet. I'll fetch the nurse. And the split personality minigame. Whenever Gollum gets into an argument with himself, he must choose options from a dialogue tree in order to win himself over. This is very important, Christopher. You must do I, this. I uh, don't know where she went. It must look like a PS2 game, Christopher, but it should be marketed for next-gen consoles, and for PC, the recommended specs should be an RTX 3080 with 32 gigabytes of RAM. In other words, there should be no concern given for optimization, Christopher. None at all. This is very very important. Tell you what, I'll go and make you some tea, all right? I'll, uh, I'll make you some tea. You must be willing to sell your soul to be able to play this game on PC, Christopher, and even then it should look like crap. Christopher, are you listening to me? Christopher, write this down right now! Christopher, listen to me! Christopher! <laughs>